Bay Area Compass. Located at bayareacompass.blogspot.com. Bay Area! Bay Area! What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Don Julio giving that fire content once again. I'm representing Bay Area Compass, and I'm with Mac Mobs today. I appreciate you coming in today, man. Hey, what's happening with you? Let's just let's just get straight into like the real shit, right, man? Like right now, man. Like, so, are you born and raised in the Bay? Born and raised in Fairfield, California. Fairfield, man. California, yes, sir. It's kind of like a middle, like a middle spot. No, that's not the middle. That's literally the edge of the Bay. The you edge know what of the saying? Bay. The yeah. last town with some Bay waters actually up in it. You dig what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Are you proud to be from Fairfield? Man, I'm just proud where I'm from. Period. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. Period. Do you think that kind of like uh, brings some of your sound, or where does your sound like come from? Where does where does that type of style I'm originate? Be honest, my sound. Well, I can't say, and I won't say that I don't got sound, but you know, what I'm talking about like there's songs that I make, like nigga, and I will have five, six different styles on it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's my own shit. Mm -hmm. You know, but I, you know, I can't really say my sound, but my sound to put a name on it, to put a label on that. You know, I would just say I make player music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mac music. You feel what I'm talking about? Street shit. Kind of like hustling type of shit, getting yeah, that bread. Yeah, keeping it You know, trying to bring the game back to where it's supposed to stand mm -hmm. still at. You know what I'm saying? Does that reflect your lifestyle, or does that feel like? I mean, it's reflecting my past. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It reflects who I am in the present. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and even in the future. But, you know, not on the little kid shit. You feel what I'm talking about? Yeah. A little bit more organized. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, you know, flying. So what do you do the music for? Do you do it for um, the cloud? Do you do it for the the bread? Do you do it because you think you're good? Like why do you, why do you why do you do music? I ain't made no money off this shit just to keep it a hundred. Mm -hmm. Everything I've ever done has always been free. Like even mm -hmm. when my brother would print up mixtapes, mm -hmm. you know what I'm talking about like hundred some couple of hundred. You feel me and just hand them all out for free, mm -hmm. just to get the music out there. But before that, you feel what I'm talking about? Just speaking on that, like niggas been making music like eight years ago just mm -hmm. for fun. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like we never took it serious like that. You know what I mean? Like, just busting on the track is something we've been doing. You feel what I'm talking about? So it's more of, like, a passion versus, you know, a nigga want to try to get something off it or make a name because it's a thing, like, not to hype myself up yeah. or try to brag, like, because in the eyes of God, it don't mean shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm known in the streets, my nigga, just based off my name for hustling and doing what I do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Not, not going no further than that. You know what I mean? But just that right there, you feel me? So where do you hope so, the, the music takes you? Or, like, like the like your, your best case scenario... <clears throat> like what you would hope for where would you hope you would be like in two years two years I mean you know if you stay consistent with what mm -hmm. you do you know what I'm saying like you could you could for sure push your issue mm -hmm. you know what I mean if that's what you choose to do mm -hmm. like I said I don't want to be famous I just want to be known where I'm from mm -hmm. and for people to recognize the game you know what I'm talking about because you know everybody's got different everybody's got different say on the new on the new rap game and all that you know what I'm saying and mm -hmm. I just want to bring back you know what I'm talking about from my favorite artists you know the people that inspire me in this shit mm -hmm. who are some of the people who inspire you then man off top Mac Dre and the Jacket okay I also like some, some some legends my player shit you know what yeah. I'm saying mm -hmm. Bay Area niggas do you continually bump that stuff now or like hell yeah all that shit my playlist YouTube all that do you feel Bay it's tough do you feel like it's tougher for you to bump that new shit because it's just so far away from the stuff you've been growing up with or do you think you can still adapt to the new type of wave going on right now man I'm gonna keep it real with you I try a, a all right amount of new shit you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying but it's kind of like it's more so like the same artist I've been fucking with to be mm -hmm. honest with you yeah. I try some new shit you know what mm -hmm. I mean but if you had a, if you had to like name like a new artist maybe let's say from like 2016 to 2019 who would you say is like the, someone you listen to on a day to day basis or week to week basis Lil Reese. Lil Reese, okay, okay. He's still from Bay, too, so. No, I'm talking about Lil Reese from, oh, Lil Reese. from Chicago. Oh, from Chicago. That's just yeah, one of the guy. artists, you know what I'm saying? I can give yeah, you yeah. a few of them. Mm -hmm. He Grizzly recently. Oh, yeah, he, you listen to his new album? I listened to it. Yeah, I listened like to it? it, but I, like, honestly, like, when he first started off, I knew he was dope, but mm -hmm. it was just getting played out so much, like, a nigga didn't want to hear it, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, Same like, shit, different day. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Like, if I fuck with an artist, I'm fucking with it, you know what I mean, off the strength of what the message is in the music, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, not being based off of who's on and who's popping right now mm -hmm. you feel what I'm talking about do you feel like um, but not only that the reason why it made me feel that way is because you know there's a lot of gangster rap going on right now you yeah. know what I'm talking about and it's like I'm not I'm not into that wave you feel me like I said I'm always on player shit even if I'm not doing player things mm -hmm. I, I, my lifestyle is player you know what I'm saying to just be cool mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying like I can't listen to murder music all day my nigga yeah. you know what I'm talking about I'm player yeah. like I'm not walking around trying to kill niggas yeah you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm walking around being me. I'm being that nigga just trying to stay cool like the other side of the pillow. And that's just that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, 
I like I'm not finna shoot a nigga today. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Is that how you want people to perceive you, or just like a straight hustler, just someone who's trying to better himself and better the community? Or? Man, I am a I am a spokesperson. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like for the game, me and my brother. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Like Mac, my Mac, my stand for something. You feel what I'm talking about? It's we don't stand for bipping cars, <laughs> nigga. Mm-hmm. We don't stand for sipping syrup and popping pills, nigga. Mm-hmm. We don't stand for none of that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, nigga, we stand strictly for, you know what I'm talking about? Like, nigga, we're we going we gonna to get it out the mud, period. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We ain't got to go into detail about the game. Everybody know what the game involved with. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But all that all that other shit, you know what I'm talking about? Like, scamming and all that square ass shit. Mm-hmm. I ain't never gotten to no shit like that, man. That's good. That's would, boosting. Would you say you have a team you're working with right it's now? It's me and my or? brother. You and your brother. It's me and my brother. We it's do everything. We record our music, edit our music, mix and master it. I film the videos, he film the videos, she films the videos, nigga. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I do all the video editing, all this shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? We control what websites and, you know, outlets the music on, all that shit. Mm-hmm. Or what are some new projects that you're about to drop soon coming up? And we dropping today. Oh, today? Up and today, it's just a little six-song mixtape, you know okay. what I'm saying? I got about, like, 20 new songs right now just mm-hmm. sitting. Yeah. You, talk, you know what I'm talking about? Waiting yeah, for I, the right time? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, got, I got a new, a new, I got hella new shit to put out. But, yeah, I got this new shit out that came out today. I'm dropping it around, like, later on, probably, like, 9 or 10 or some shit like that. Okay. It's called Mob or Die Mixtape Volume 2. Is it um, straight singles, or is it features on that? It's only one single of me, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Other than that, it's all me and my brother. All you and your brother, yeah. okay. Do you think you, would you consider yourself, you and your brother, a group, or are you just both individual and sometimes you guys can collab? I mean, a group is considered two, right? True, but According I mean, to, I mean, you can collab with anybody and still not be a group, you know? No, nah, it's not a, you know, like, on some, <clears throat> on some, like, not what the industry sees it mm-hmm. as and, like, yeah, fans and you know what I mean like rap critics and all that yeah, shit some real shit yeah like they they're, they're gonna look at it and be like okay it's a group you know to the industry it's a group mm-hmm. but between me and my brother nigga we brothers you know what I'm saying yeah I mean always be brothers so we, we rap together you feel what I'm talking about mm-hmm. I'll make a single he can make a single you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying we move like that mm-hmm. but we most every single like damn near all of the motherfucking music is just me and him though mm-hmm. nothing but it I feel you so um what, what kind of music videos do you want to come out with, like, coming up soon? And, like, um, what do you think the music's going to take you, like, just, like, in the next couple of months? Like, are you going to be posting um, new um, singles? I know you said the tape's coming out, but, like, just break down a little bit, like, what the process is going to be for going forward. Process to be moving forward with this music shit, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, just keep coming out is there with a plan? shit. There's a plan? Yeah, there's always a plan. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm talking about? To come iller every single time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you, bro, like there there'll be songs where I have five, six different styles in it. Yeah. You know, I'm talking about like all at once, bar bar for bar. You know what I'm talking about? Like the plan is to always keep elevating within this shit. You don't even have to be so lyrical with it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? It's the magic, it's the essence and the finesse in a song. You know what I'm talking about? That's mm-hmm. what really makes people fuck with you. Something mm-hmm. they really feel. You know what I'm saying? Regardless if you did it like Mac Dre, nigga, and it was that this shit, you know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Yeah. To where it goes to, okay, I'm on some conscious shit with, with J. Cole. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Let's, let's give a shout out to your brother real quick. Um, For sure. Let's, um, let's, let's talk about Bob let's P. talk about like your come up with him, his come up and like uh you know, like like how you guys got to where you are right now. Man, I'll tell you like this, you know, wherever you are right just just to, before I get into it, we ain't you can't really even say that anybody can say that we are where we want to be. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because you can yeah. always have more depending yeah. on what type of person you is. Mm-hmm. But, you know, like, niggas are standing still. I'll tell you that. You know, we stay in the flow, staying above the sea level. You know what I'm saying? But um, how we came up, you know, like I said before, bro, it ain't in the eyes of God, it don't mean shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's all bad, right? You know, niggas just got it out the mud since little ass niggas. You know what I'm talking about? Niggas started off shooting dice, selling weed. You know what I'm saying? Just went up from there. But not even saying, like, oh, that's who we are, bro. We, you know, we do shit like that. Like I said, niggas been all around players. You feel what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. And then just growing up listening to the music I've listened to is something that made me like, man, you know, like, we used to just bust freestyles and shit, Mm -hmm. just chilling and smoking and all that. You know what I'm talking about? And niggas ended up recording music. Was there ever a moment where you were like, this is what I want to do for, like, the rest of my life? Or, like, this is what I want to, like, at least do for the... Yeah, something I like to do, yeah. Yeah. What, What was the moment? The moment, I mean, really, when a nigga got on the microphone and could put his shit on the CD, burn it real quick, put it in the car, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. and play it 30 million times. Yeah. You feel me? You like, like listening to your own music? Hell yeah, man. Yeah. Shit, nigga, I dig my music, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I don't make music, I don't, 
I don't rap about nonsense. I rap about shit that niggas, you know what I'm saying, that have li- live certain type of lifestyles mm-hmm. can relate to, you know? You say yours is a story based or you say your lyrics come from more um fantasy? Or is it like more real stuff? Oh, like no, nah, the people? fantasy don't got nothing to do with my music. It's all it's all real. It's 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 all real shit, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It was like what was your favorite song you my made? My favorite yeah. song that I have made, yeah. uh, it's a song that ain't even out. I don't even know. It ain't out. Is it gonna come on that new take you're talking I mean, about, or is it gonna come out later? Maybe. later? I think I think I want to put it on this one. I ain't gonna lie. I really fuck with this one, bro. Mm-hmm. What 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 the uh, what makes you decide what I should, what song I should put into a video, and what song I should just keep on the tape and just let the viewers, you know, judge for themselves. I ain't gonna lie. Um, I I, I kind of have the idea like I want to try to film as much videos as I can off mm-hmm. a mixtape or yeah. just singles. Period. Mm-hmm. Just so videos people, get more retention. Yeah, that. Mm-hmm. But you know, like this music shit is further than music. Like a lot of people want to know who the nigga is behind the mic. You exactly. Know what I'm about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like it's best to try to get people, you know, to let people get to know you. Exactly. Through a video. And that's what these interviews help with. I think it helps yes. you know, you know yes. the viewers yeah. understand the artists a bit more because I feel like Instagram and um, you know Twitter and things like this kind of give you an idea, but doesn't give you like the full picture of like how someone actually is. Like right. speaking to someone, you know, how would you feel speaking to someone? Someone. Anyway, um, let's just talk about keep talking about the grind and everything. Um, so you said it from Fairfield, blah blah. Um, you and your brother are both from Fairfield. Yeah. Okay. West Fairfield, man. Do you still yes, live sir. there, or did you move move out? Oh no, my brother live out of town. I still live close to town. You feel me? But I'm always around, but never really around. Okay. But I'm always around. Okay. At the same time. Okay. How old are you? Twenty eight. Twenty eight. Okay. Yeah. Do you feel like? Cause I just like to give like straight up real like. For sure. Not everyone can make it. You know what right. I mean? Not not everyone right can do that. it. Is there ever going to be a moment for you where you feel like, all right, I did the best I could, and you know it didn't do nothing for me, or do you feel like you're going to take it all the way? It depends on what your definition of make it is, you know, because that could be a few sure. different things. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Like your point, my point of make it could be a few different things. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Just 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 for example, like my my my, my point of making it is. Literally every nigga in Fairfield that fucks with rap music mm-hmm. will have me on their playlist. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Like Representing then, your town. Exactly, bro. And then moving to where nigga the whole bay know you just sack. Yeah. That would be raw. That that could be a point of making it for me. You know what I'm saying? For other people, like I'm not worried about the fame, but like I said, if the shit ended up happening, it happened, right? Mm-hmm. But, you know, another nigga's vision might be his point of making it, oh nigga, I'm on magazines and Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It really depends like, on the person. Like some people might want to go. Like wanting to be like all these new weird ass rappers. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's that's a lot of niggas' business. So like so so what would you say is a weird ass rapper? I know you you know the mumble rappers, the rappers who just kind of get cloud off of just dumb videos and just dumb shit. Where do you differentiate yourself from like these new rappers and like what you are? You know. Man, these niggas are just crazy, and it seems like a lot of you know. Let's, hey, th- let's throw some names out there. For one, I'ma just say it's you know, like seeing a nigga on Instagram following DJ Academics, mm, yeah. Say Cheese Digital. Yeah. You know, uh all that Post shit. News you page, see yeah. these niggas, right? This mm-hmm. one specific dude from Florida, nigga, New oh, Age Jerk Boy. Oh God. You have to seen him. Come on, man. I mean I've heard of Flo- I know anyone comes who comes from Florida is already. Man, like, I'm telling you that one weird ass Illuminati ass devil worshiping ass shit nigga popped up all over Instagram when he made that video some time ago, not even that long ago. What was, was the like video? A year. Of? It was a bro. He was wearing a, a bride's dress, a oh white God. bride's dress, right? Mm-hmm. Nigga, with them weird ass uh, like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Demon he was like a young, teeth. like a young thug yeah, looking like. Young nigga. Nigga. Yeah, he he still has clout. Man, he got clout because of the weird shit he do. Yeah, you know it's it's it's. I mean, to some niggas that think it's all right, you mm-hmm. know, it's a good good way to promote and market yourself. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. a lot of people would be like, "Oh, this nigga, what the fuck is he doing?" Mm-hmm. You know, then it builds. But yeah. That's one of the weird niggas, bro. The nigga did a video with the white bride's dress, bro, and had the bitches pointing the chopper in his mouth. mouth and he was like he was, it. like he was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, come on, man. Just what like, part what, of the game is that? Man? So where's the line drawn? You know, wearing them choker chains, like who? Come on. I mean, people. I feel like Young Thug kind of opened the door for a lot of people to do oh, that type sure. of stuff. You know I mean, he's made sure. the rap game so ambiguous. It's like you can wear dresses. Nigga, that's you can the wear. devil. That's the devil trying to make this shit seem like it's cool. Because if you think about it, like, what other rapper nigga wore a purse first? Nigga, that nigga Young Thug. First yeah. nigga I've probably seen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now it's Wearing like shirts and dresses and Rich shit. Rich the kid. Like, you know, they're all just you got, taking. You got these so-called, you know, like, industry-looking ass street niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, money bag and them niggas like that. 
But I seen, I, I, I think it was money bag. I may be wrong, but I swear it was that nigga, bro. That nigga had a big ass new Chanel bag, like mm-hmm. a purse. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like ten thousand dollar purse. Nigga. Ten thousand dollar purse. It don't matter how much it costs to me, nigga. That's a purse, nigga. It's a purse. I don't give a fuck what you putting in there, boy. That's a purse. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Buy a car with that money. Like we ain't all supposed to be the same, but I'll tell you this, like. Men are not supposed to do feminine things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, just being more accepted now. It's just like, it's yeah. almost like people want us to do more feminine but, things. But, you know, you know, because God wouldn't want me to, I don't hate no gender, bro, but I'm yeah. not, I don't condone to it. I'm not for it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's like, you're going to do shit like that. Like, come on, man. You saw another game because you making yourself seem like this nigga that came out the mud. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You came out in the streets and really struggled out there. You feel me? And made it right. You know what I'm saying? But then a nigga going to wear a dress. Like, come on. Like, you got these little kids in elementary school. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? They watching music videos. They're you know growing up with about? this stuff. Niggas on World Star and they're growing up with it, thinking that it's cool to wear a purse. You know what yeah. I'm saying? What part of the it's game? It's going to be normal, nigga? pretty much in like 10 years. It's like, come boys going to be wearing little purses and stuff. That's wild. So, yeah. what, how'd the name come about? Smooth, man. Smooth came from, you know, I'm. You know, like if a, if a bunch of players and you know what I'm saying streets, you know what I'm saying, you know niggas would be kicking this shit on the streets. You yeah. know, like mm-hmm. they gave you your name. My name is Smooth. No, I can't. I, I'm not gonna say that. Nobody gave me my name. I uh-huh. gave myself my name. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Um, you know, be like, man, that nigga Smooth. You know what I'm saying? Like you see that nigga, he can't do. He sharp, man. You know what I'm yeah. talking about? That nigga got on that. You know what I'm talking about? You know, he two, three piece down. You know what I'm saying? With the with the nice shoes on. Mm-hmm. You know that nigga Smooth. Mm-hmm. That's my attitude. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's me. That's my that's my whole thing. Like right now you see me I'm in comfortable clothes. You know what I'm saying? But every other day, my nigga, I'll throw on a suit, you mm-hmm. know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Nigga and, and bust it down. hmm You know what I'm talking about? I'll be beating so ass. Smooth your river smooth um your nickname? Yeah, that's me. My that that's that's my that's that's just my name. So period, what made you, you know want to pick saying? um Mac Mobs? Or Mac Mob, excuse me. Mac Mob stands for, you know what I'm talking about, to, to, to really bust that down. Mac Mob is like, you know, you know what a Mac is. A Mac is a yeah. cold Mac, you know what I'm talking about, break a bitch. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about, you know, spit real game. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about, and, and so forth. Mac, that's what a Mac is, you know what I'm talking about, you yeah. move a groove, right? And a mob, you know, like the mob. The gang. You know, it's, it's just being some organized brothers, you know yeah. what I'm saying? We organize together as one, nigga. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about, how we move, we move strategic, you know what I'm saying? We play this game. Nine tenths of the game's position, then you gotta play it correctly. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the that's the movement, nigga. So who who would you want to thank um, through this journey? You know, to help get you there. People who are viewing your music, like what would you want to say to those people who are watching right now? Man, I would just say this to my family first. You know, what I'm talking about period. You know, that's that's my biggest support system. But in the same breath, for the people that do support the game, you know, what I'm talking about you do fuck with a nigga shit. You know, that's much love and good game to y'all, period. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if it's one play, one one like, one view, nigga, you know what I'm talking about? I appreciate it all because that's how the game go, you feel me? Whatever you was peeping it for. You could even be a hating ass, dick sucking ass nigga. You know what I'm talking about? But nigga, you didn't play the video. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Just because you know you had to check the game before yeah, you try interest. to drop something. Exactly. Yeah.